Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 16th of 2021. Well, it is titled Geminids from Gemini. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image from a meteor shower. And in fact, the Geminid meteor shower. Now this was taken last year, when there were a number of meteors. And in fact, you have hundreds of them here present in the sky. And we also look for this coming up again in the middle of December. So meteor showers occur on a regular basis each year, and are associated with a specific object in this case, an asteroid. And they have material left over from that from that object in its orbit. And when the Earth happens to pass through the orbit, we collect all those tiny bits of debris, just grains of sand, very tiny bits. But when they strike Earth's atmosphere at a very high rate of speed, they then get vaporized. And what we're seeing is that trail as they vaporize within Earth's atmosphere. Now I said they can be associated with a constellation and that's how they are named. These are the Geminids coming from the constellation of Gemini. And in fact, if you trace all of them back, imagine connecting these with a straight line, they seem to come from that pair of stars, the two bright stars in the constellation of Gemini. And if you're not sure exactly, you can actually move the mouse over it. And let's annotate that here so we can see where Gemini is. And you can see Gemini at the central portion of this meteor shower, what we call the radiant point. And that is the point from which the meteors will appear to radiate. Yeah, they don't really come from the same spot in space. It is that they are traveling parallel to each other through space. So they appear to converge off in the distance. We see the same effect here on Earth. And if you look at a railroad tracks on a very long straight path, they seem to converge together out in the distance. And that is, of course, just an optical effect. And you know that if you traveled out a ways along those railroad tracks, you know that they'd be just as far apart down the road as they are at where, right where you're standing at the moment. So we can see we see that and it's just an optical effect that makes them all appear to come from the same point in the sky. Now we can also see a couple of other things in this image, including Orion, uh, the prominent constellation there and you see that towards the upper left hand side. Now you may notice here that Orion appears upside down or at least upside down for those of us in the northern hemisphere as we're used to seeing it telling us that this would have been taken south of the equator. So if you notice the reddish star uh, towards the um, which appears here in the lower right part of Orion, that is the bright star Betelgeuse. And for those in the northern hemisphere, we're used to seeing that in the upper left. And you'll also see the belt of Orion appears inverted and the sword heading upwards in this case. So it's kind of flipped around for those of us in the northern hemisphere from what we're used to seeing. But of course, the rest of it stays exactly the same. You will see the rest same pattern that we see for Orion and Gemini as well as the meteors and even our Milky Way they're stretching across the sky from the lower portion there straight up through the top of the image. So that was our picture of the day for November 16th of 2021. It was titled Geminids from Gemini. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be two galaxies or one. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.